Okay, uh, this work in, again involves these little paper dolls. Um, so I have one for the guy, one for the girl, and I've blessed him. And I put a little petition on his uh, doll, uh, basically saying that uh, he thinks of her nonstop, he wants to be with her, you know, something like that. And on the other side, because we want uh, full control, I put this the sigil or the seal of Paimon because I want to influence him. That's why I put it on his puppet. So this is very sticky because I've put a pile of honey on it. So I'm pulling it in towards me and I have some uh, pink yarn. I'm going to bind this up and I'm going to go quiet a minute because I want to ask for a few things. And I just want to make sure I get it right because it's awkward when I, you're doing this with the camera in front of you, but I'm trying my best. So I'm say, I was saying into myself uh, the petition and what I wanted to happen. I'll put three knots on this. This is so sticky. So I put my oils in between the two of them. So I put her date of birth her name on one, his date of birth, name on the other, and on his I put uh, the petition, and on his, the other side I put the seal of King Paimon, that I freehanded, uh, it truly doesn't matter, uh, if you do print them out, I would suggest that you uh, go over them with uh, a black pen, and do your best to try and activate the sigil, um, so I gaze at the sigil uh, and then I just know uh, the sigil will change a bit it'll start to what's you know known as flash so anyway this goes in here my hands are so sticky <laughs> and I'm gonna pop some honey on this all we seeing in your mind's eye what you want to happen Things working out for the best. Don't worry about how you get to that point. You just see the results as if they have happened. Okay. Uh, and I did spray some pheromones onto the dolls, but I'll put them in there again. Cinnamon. I do prefer the stick of cinnamon st cinnamon sticks, um, but don't have any, any at the minute. A clove. love me oil uh, again please go with what you have you don't have to have all these things uh, okay a little quartz crystal rose quartz uh, let me see magnetic sand because we want him to be magnetized by her I'm gonna pop in a little magnet as well if I can find it. Let it go. And it's got a smiley face. <laughs> you could put one on each photograph or one on each doll and put them together. It's even better. Uh, okay. Well, a little bit of John the Conqueror because we want her to come out on top here. So. I want her to be, you know, dominating. Bam of Gilead. I'm going to put in two. One for him and one for her. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of control oil. This spell is more of a control spell than... Um, it's more of a control spell than... A, it is sweetening, yeah, but I want to put the element of control into it. So, yeah. Uh, let me see, a road opener, and some come to me oil, a little bit of rose water, I really like my rose water because uh, it's so pure. Parrot feather for communication. Okay, uh, 
and let me see rose oil I just want to put a tiny bit of lavender in here okay and some catnip and a tiny bit of ice root okay sugar uh, oh I'm right in front of me okay just a little bit of sugar okay rose perfume it doesn't have to be rose whatever you have is perfect substitution powder okay and last but not least let me see if something's missing. Crown of success. Yeah. Stay with me oil. Okay. I breathe some energy into this as well before I finish. Um, I'll do that in a moment. Uh, some rose petals this is all from the rose it's the bouquet itself um, I always keep these things I find that they they work really well the dried rose petals and I have um, Put some rose oil on them so they're scented and they, they really do smell lovely okay so that's that uh so again it's just these little cutouts you probably can get them in your arts and crafts section uh okay so i'm gonna activate this what you could do is you could also put a uh, paimon seal around the jar here and burn a candle on it just be careful uh always use a candle holder okay and let me see yeah i have my plate prepared so i've got some blue candles and that will sit in there and i'm going to burn a purple one on this but the blue is for healing so it'll be a purple candle and i'll alternate between purple and uh, blue because i really want this relationship to heal but uh that's what it looks like in a minute and i'm going to light it up okay these little candles are great oh no i'm running out of gas that's why I like matches. So yeah, you could work this every night until you get your desires. Um, or you could work it every night or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Just whatever suits you, but I really like to work my doors. Sorry for that glare taking this away in a moment for my jars I really do like to and that's it I like to work them uh the candles falling over again damn <laughs> I like to work them for a straight 21 days okay now uh I'm gonna do a card reading for you separately but I'm gonna pull some uh plus your vibes cards Get these little shuffle massive big cards are very very they've been shuffled but I'm just giving them a quick quick going over to get the honey off my hands but they're still in my hands okay I'm shuffling these a bit strangely so they're so big <laughs> it's 
it's not the way I would shuffle cards normally, but I've shuffled them prior to putting them in the box. So uh, I'm just gonna give them a quick shuffle. But because they're so big, it's quite awkward. It's not really the way I normally would shuffle my smaller cards. So I'm gonna draw out six. Three, four, five, six, okay. Okay, first card out is Name Your Higher Self. Um, okay. And then we've got an Aura Cleanse. So maybe uh, it would be a good idea uh, to have a cleansing or something similar to that done. Or just take a purification bath, um, which is good. Even just a little bit of salt in your bath water. Cleans your aura. Yeah, and vibe check. Decide. It's an interesting card. And I'll walk it off. <laughs> it's a strange card. Uh, and body talk. So yeah, these cards are a bit bizarre, but uh, they do give insight. So I'm thinking that you probably need a little bit of clearing. Uh, also there, with regards to, um, I'm putting a little bit of healing into your work. So I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that helps. And uh, please get back to me. Because you did mention there's a third party in this situation. So I'd like to get uh, a wee bit more information on that. And uh, for everyone else, it's the house of magic at gmail.com, uh, or you can find me in the comments section. So uh, I bid you good night.